So when a patient comes for a consultation for an implant, it's generally, the, the first visit is generally diagnostic. And it's a, it's a visit where we, t we have some, one of the latest CT scanners that are on the market today. And what a CT scanner is, it's a way to look at the bone in three dimensions. So it's really the standard of care. It's the, it's the ideal protocol to take a patient to scan the area. And then on this beautiful screen, I can actually rotate, look, and look at the area and then see what the bone looks like in terms of the site where an implant needs to be placed. When the actual visit to place the implant, it, it, and again, it's a very, very gentle visit. It's, we use topical anesthetic and I have all these different flavors, but the area is made numb. And there is no, there is, once the area is numb, there is no sensation. It's physiologically impossible to feel anything. So the area is made numb. And then the site itself is prepared for an implant. Now an implant is basically, it's basically a screw that goes in, made out of titanium or ceramic and it's placed into the bone. And that visit itself could take 20 minutes, it could take a half hour, it's generally not a long appointment, um, depending on how many implants we're placing. Then the, there's generally two or three stitches that are in the area, and those sutures that we place in there, they actually dissolve by themselves. And the patient, is, the patient you leave. Um, there's generally a follow-up maybe a week later, or then there's a follow-up uh, a month or so later. And the process from the time that the implant's placed until the time that we're ready to put a tooth on top of the implant, remember the implant is just the foundation for the new tooth, that's about a three month process. Um, and in that time, um, there's really not much to do. The body knows what to do and it actually heals in that period.